Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising. Weekly tarot reading May 6th to May 12th, 2019. And just bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. And we can go straight away to the spread. All right, so the first card, which is marking the topic of your Pisces week, that is going to be the strength card, followed by the second one, which is the challenges that you need to overcome here. We do have the Nine of Swords. Third card, which is the positive aspect of the week. This is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. And the last card for you guys, which is the general guidance that Tarot is offering to you, that will be the Queen of Wands. So once again, topic is the strength card, followed by the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. We do have the Nine of Swords. After that, we do have the Seven of Pentacles, which is the positive aspect of your week. And the last one that we do have, that will be the uh, Queen of Queen of Wands, excuse me, which is the general guidance the Tower is offering to you. So it's a rather difficult reading that we do have I, I, because it's a very general one. And I'm sorry, you know, that, that I will present it to you in a such a way, but general reading breeds general results. So Tower is very vast. One card cannot be constrained only in regards to relationship or only in regards to career. To give you an example, here, if you come to me for a question and you ask me how this person feels about me and I draw you four of pentacles, what I'm going to tell you, you know, he feels like money wise. No, I mean, tarot cards are very broad. One card can be related with any kind of questions, any kind of question you have. It just comes to knowledge, you know. So um, in that specific follow up here, uh, you, I do believe that this is going to be a week where you are going to have a change of heart. Change of heart in regards to something either regarding into your career or either regarding into your relationship. That is because a, 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 a how can I place it, a personal impression that you're going to have um, is going to become stronger and stronger. The thing is that you will want to, you will want more from either your relationship or for either your career. And therefore, here with the uh, strength card, you are to jump very enthusiastically uh, to try to uh, find those, I would say, cracks, either career-wise or relationship-wise, that can give you a, a niche with, from which you know, you can achieve more either regarding career or either regarding relationship. The strength card is where one is not afraid, you know, from creating obstacles or from managing or dealing with obstacles if those obstacles are to uh, breed any further results, either into career or either into relationship, which means <clears throat> that you're going to put under a test relationship wise or career wise just to scale out is it really worth it being in it all right is it really worth being with this person is it really worth chasing on that person or hoping that this person is going to come around is it really worth staying in this job position or is it really worth 
taking on this job offer. You're going to put these things under a test and uh, you are going to scale the result in regards to how enthusiastic you are to cope with the enterprise. Okay, And that will create a lot of change of hearts in you. Some of you are going to find out that some enterprises they were after are not as enthusiastic as they want them to be, or others are gonna find out that some enterprises are far more interesting than they anticipate in them to be. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> The formation that we do have, it is in active uh, supporters. So you will not be afraid to uh, kind of like uh, surpass your limits, if I may express it that way. You will not be afraid to do things which are rather very surprising to the people around you. Very So you will not be afraid to do uh, a, a thing which is going to be surprising for your husband. You know, and uh, that kind of correlates with the strength card, a statement that you will not care what people think about you. You will not care. Uh, is your husband, for example, going to like your new dress or going to like the destination you pick up for your uh, vacation? Is because something that you do like. And if this person is with you, they will have to make a compromise. All right. So <clears throat> this week, it does look like that you are going to do those very bold moves, which is very good in reality. It's kind of like going to provoke a lot of passion and a lot of enthusiasm once again, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. In, in regards to career, it could be that bold and risky move in regards, in, in regards to a project, which is going to make the project unfoldment very interesting. Therefore, it's going to keep your um, attention and your interest in it as well. The challenge is going to be the Nine of Swords. So this, the challenge itself regards to something peripheral from the, um, from the strength card. It does regards to some issues that you are bringing from previous weeks into this one that you are, uh, these issues haven't been evolved yet, all right? So this is something lingering around you and you are hoping that the thing is not gonna burst out, the thing is not gonna manifest, but Worrying about it doesn't solve the problem, really. The challenge itself here is going to be uh, for you stop worrying about it. The challenge is going to be that you need to focus more on what is rather than on what could be. All right. So focus on what is and start working with what you have instead of hoping or that, you know, you're going to have something in the future or that you are going to not have any uh, something in the future as well. You know, it does depend how you look at it. Is it what you're going to have is something productive or negative? But the thing is that you need to focus on what is right now and stop worrying in vain for things that you don't have control over. That will allow you guys to truly see the core of your situations and should a um, resolution of those problems which you are bringing in this week exists, then you're going to find it in this week and you will be able to, uh, let's say, you know, um, execute on the resolution itself. The accompanied card that is going to be the page of swords and the combo here, it is in an active supporters. So uh, additional challenge for you with this card, true worrying. It's not uh, so true worrying. You will not be able to obtain an an, um, an accurate diagnosis upon your situation. So basically, you are going to be more prone to believe in fictions rather than in facts. And so you need to have that discernment in between fictions and facts. And that is also going to be challenging. But all comes to that, you know, how much you are afraid from your future or how much you are afraid that certain circumstances are to happen in your future, especially circumstances that you have no control over. Now, if I have to uh, give you an, an um, example, let's say that you are very scared that your partner is going to leave you. All right. Do you have control over it? No, if your partner decides to leave you, you cannot stop them. Uh, this is something that an, an ex-boss of mine said, you know, if someone decides to leave, nothing can stop them. Not a marriage, not a, chi not a child, nothing can stop them. So you should stop worrying about that and just focus on what you do have with this person right now and try to experience those exhilarating moments and reignite the passion in it so you have much more fun and much more productive time together instead of uh, you know, stifling the relationship through being jealous and worried that one day they may leave you. 
So that leads us to the third card, which is the positive aspect of the week. And that is the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles tells us a couple of things, or three things. First is that you are going to be granted a, a time to rest. So there is no rush for anything throughout the week. That is very good for you to uh, remember because through uh, moving along with your passion, moving on forward, you may risk yourself being burned out by the end of the week. Additionally to that, the Seven of Pentacles, it does point that you are going to be very accurate with your investments, all right? Investing time, investing efforts, investing performance as well. And it is unlikely that you are going to throw yourself into something that is not going to have any benefits for you into the future. And finally, the Seven of Pentacles, it does point that very... Um, surprising and beneficial is event is lurking just behind the, the corner an event which is going to give a a new shade should i say on the situation that is going to look much more colorful than it is looking right now and we're talking about that situation which you have to approach with great amounts of enthusiasm the accompanied card that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles here. So the combo, it is a passive uh, passive friends. And it looks like that as well, that thing which is lurking just, lurking just behind the corner, the circumstances or that event as well is going to make your life either all of a sudden or slowly progressing, start worth living again. It is because it's going to be very exhilarating. For many of you, it's going to be exactly what you needed, everything that you needed, all right? So if you are single, for example, should you stop worrying of that you are single and that you are never going to find a partner just behind the corner, one comes around that probably is everything that you have ever wanted. All right. So this is how these cards could manifest themselves. But you not being afraid once again to step outside of your current social circle and experiment with new kinds of people as the first cards um, where you will, you know, be more bold with uh your actions uh, are presenting. So uh, finally, what we do have for you, Pisces, that is to be the uh, Queen of Wands. That is the guidance here. Queen of Wands, it is very uh, experienced person, so you have to linger on your experience here. But additionally to that, you need to start kicking in with your acute understanding of the human nature, not emotional, all right, but more material human nature, meaning you need to start thinking of how these people around you, around you are of any use for you. You need to start recognizing the, uh, uh, how can I place it, the advantages of one person and utilizing them and their weaknesses and exclude their performance in, wh in which field they're weak in your environment. What I'm trying to say here as an example is let's say that you do have a, a, a colleague of yours who is very good in drawing, all right? So you kind of like attract them over or only for drawing, you do not ask them to do any calculations, all right? Because, for example, a calculation could be their weak point. Or you can have a friend who is very good in um, entertaining you, but in the same time is very bad when it comes to sharing. So do not share with that person, you know, just use them to uh, entertain you. So such kind of a... Um, tapping in into the human nature you need to capitalize on throughout the week. Additionally to that, this card points that you need to uh, uh, kind of like, uh, how can I place it? You have to take advantage of your uh, of your presence. You're going to be very, very attractive and very interesting for throughout the week. And should you seek for a partner, that is the week where you're going to have big chances for you to do so. It's just the cards are very, very favorable. Should you stop thinking, you know, of that you're going to be single forever. And finally, the card does point that you're going to have as well acute business sense. So follow your business sense and do not be afraid to do any risky maneuvers. As a matter of fact, with the uh, Hierophant card here, which is a, a passive, uh, an active, excuse me, neutral to the um, Queen of Wands, it does look like that you are to find new ways to do things, all right? As a matter of fact, you are going to find out that you are much more than what you thought you are at, until this very moment, that you are much more attractive, that you are much more um, kind of like 
capable as well that you are much more aware of how, of what kind of a people you do have around you and how you can capitalize on their pros and how you can uh, not include their cons into your environment as well. So Pisces, yeah, it's a, it's a rather broad reading, but in the same time, it's very positive reading. It's time to make risks, guys. It's time to to bold moves, uh, four bold moves, which bold moves are gonna give you a rather good benefits in regards either into career or in regards either a relationship. Just don't, just stop worrying for what could be, like I said, and focus on what is, because this this um, surprising event it is coming around and hopefully you know you are gonna be bold enough to take advantage of it so that being said Pisces this was your weekly tarot reading for May 6 to May 12 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other next week until then bye